We're continuing on with the quarry. Our counselors have decided that they are just gonna... They're, they're just gonna fuck in the mud all night long. And who's gonna stop them? Is Lance Henriksen and his large blood-covered friend gonna stop him? I'd like to see them try. In chapter two. are stranded in the great America ah she's influencing us. will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie <laughs> first course filet au Jacob rich and full body this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate an acquired taste, some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah, kick door. Why not? Whoa. And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep. are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Well, they drank all the beer. Mr. H loved his accessories. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, jackpot. I, watch me swallow these. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. You know, in some countries, the, the cum-filled watermelon is considered a delicacy. Don't ask me which countries those are. Hold on. Can I do a... Uh, make her spin her... Okay, so you can't make her spin around classic survival horror style, but you can get a little close. She'll stop eventually, but you can, like, get her to spin... Like, do a big spin. Can't quite, can't quite get the old survival horror spin in place thing going though. Oh. Was okay. No, I, I, I can't even see what that is, but I could press A on it.
That's strange. I, saw, I thought I saw a large, muscular, blood-covered man outside. But that couldn't be right. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Sure. Let's give him a scare. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh, my. All right. Now, where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? How did you know that's my fetish? I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. Is she still? No, okay. I was about to say, is she still wearing the mask? No, she's not. Should have just left that on. No, no, we came from that and then saw the mask here. Can we just look at it again? There's just like a spider in there. Want to do anything with that? I guess not. Goes. Locked. Just we'll have to kick it open. Oh! Mother Hubbard! Ah! Ah! <sighs> what you uh what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. I guess that'll make it difficult for me to run later. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother mode. Good golly, Miss Molly. There's not much in there. This place locked up. It's mostly empty. Pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like um, <clears throat> human rights, sir. Whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. It'll lock them in I wanna look if they close it. Go for it. It doesn't seem like great design. Or something that we might have to take advantage of later. Oh, cool. What? What is it? It's a gun. Uh -huh. I'm gonna steal it. And, uh, 
code. Yoink and yoink. Okay. I'm done. I'll just take it with me, though. Mr. H won't miss this. Anything else we can steal? Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, There's tents back at the fire pit, so just... Let's let's go. Torn bags. What's this evidence? Torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. Did a bear do this? All right, why are you talk? I can't see. Did a bear do what? Did a bear leave the hiking supplies? I kind of doubt it. Oh, I guess nothing in that. All right, I got a gun and a code to something. Oh. Which is not what we were looking for. But I guess it'll do. So you're, uh, <laughs> you're really going to keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well, I am going to find something to haul this lot back to camp. All right, we're just going to be carrying a gun around camp now, I guess. I wonder if the fact that I unlocked it from that side is something that will come up later. Doesn't seem like there's a reason to do that. All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Whoa. Whoa. Fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should... No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't we take the fireworks? You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah! Fireworks. I've chosen the path of fireworks. And might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob seems excited about the fireworks. I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. That's some mascot. What are the butter pops? What are butter pops? <laughs> no! What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack. It's a horrible jingle. It's the worst jingle. Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, no, she's an influencer. She... <clears throat> I saw e a wheelbarrow. Eating expired food is a video genre. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Emma. Booty? Oh, it means like, um... Like treasure or buds? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. Emma, you want those views? You will eat that expired food. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm -hmm. Which way?
We get we have the choice to eat the expired food, and we do. And then Emma dies at the end of the game. <laughs> I shouldn't have eaten that. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah, I listen to podcasts. All right. Pretty, pretty neat. What, what are you listening to now, huh? Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um... Yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner, fide. Man, I was about to make that joke. I was about to say. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. All right, tr t tr time to invade some privacy. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? I'm going to ask you on a date. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? Oh, a phone ghost? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. I want to date a ghost. I wonder if Mr. H has dated a ghost. Family photo, let's see. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. They look happy. We got part one of 19 of Hackett history. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. What secrets does the Hackett family hold? Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Time to see the sex dungeon. I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. The basement's where the sex dungeon is. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. All right, well, I gotta find out. My path has been chosen. I've chosen to go into the sex dungeon. I mean, what, are we not going to do that? What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, hey. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. <laughs> Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Oh no, my path's updated. I weakened the ladder.
Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ring, ring. Ringy, dingy, ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I. you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh, yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Counselor's Ledger. A list of the counselor's names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Why didn't they, they show up? Who knows? All right, I guess I can walk that way. Anything else to look at? Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. What if bears crash the party? We'll be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. I don't I don't think we should cross cross anything off the list. What if the bears are down to party? Also, is this like the third part? The third time in the game so far where someone has said maybe bears and then someone else says bears. Like, I think it happened during the um, the car crash at the beginning and then when Emma took the gun and now this. It's like a running thing of bears. He what? Bears? <laughs> what if bears? Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> and yes, actually. It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not going to touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Catch. <laughs> what happens if I fail? What happens if I don't catch items? It's happened a few times. Like, what would it matter if I didn't catch the keys? Or is that just there for practice? All right, we love it. Oh, we can click on something. There. Oh, 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 hmm, ha, hmm, ha, hmm. Okay, click on something here. Icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. I'm sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't. Uh, Brian? Is it Narnia in here? Fuck. 
Oh, we found the, the secret streamer room. We found the streamer room. spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So he was looking for Bigfoot. I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. I don't actually know the the actor who plays Dylan. I haven't seen him in anything else. But I feel like he looks and sounds like a really young Dave Foley. You see, he's even got the streamer microphone. He's got the SM7B there. Why would you need that unless you're streaming? That. Oh, that's a Lance Henriksen. They're only rumored to exist. Probably nothing. It's, pretty, it's nothing. There's like a strange man on that. And then the camera went out. It's a f you don't have to worry about that. The same thing over there. All right, and there's another door it leads back into here. Oh, and that's the same one. The same one. What was over this then? Oh, there's nothing over here, I guess. Thought there was something over on the other side. Doesn't seem like there is. Let's try the bathroom. I like when you get like real close shots of them and you can like you can see their em emotionless faces. Get a good look at that as they're turning around and moving around and everything. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Oh man, he's got ibuprofen? He's really playing with some, Mr. H playing with some dangerous stuff here. What a virtuoso. Guess there's nothing else to do. Just could strum the guitar that one time. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to look at. Family. Phone. 
Ghost voice is not there. Trap door. We already know about that. Gun. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. But gun. But maybe bears. They do say that a gun is a condom for bears. They say they say that. Nice. Full up. Well. Maybe continue a little bit. I mean, I think, I think we could get a little more power in that. You know, we, I think we can hold off. There's really nothing else to explore, is there? We can talk to him. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Uh, yeah, probably. You wanna check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. I mean, yeah, I could check. And does nice. it change? No, it's still at that. It's still at, I don't it's probably not going to change. I feel like if we could fill that a little more. If we could fill it a little more. Doesn't seem like there was anything else in the room. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major, or...? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're gonna do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? But what about the major? Did I tell you? Dude! Right. <laughs> right, right, the phones. The phones. Nice. I, I guess it's not changing. I guess it's not changing. Fine. We will take the phones. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Well, I like a challenge. Let's head to the rocky road. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They like burning or whatever. That's what you do with sticks. You burn them or whatever. Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. Oh man, what's happening with his face? Let's walk. He was, he was emoting very oddly. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. 
Maybe we'll get to explore that one day while being chased by something. And his neck, it's like really stretches. Like it, when he turns his neck, that stretches. He's a very flexible man. That's that's the way we came. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? Yes. Are you? No. This does not look like a professionally made sign. We can probably ignore it. Falling rocks, like the sign said, falling rocks. No need to worry about that. This is probably back the way we came, I think. Or is it not? Well, the sign... I don't see the sign there, so maybe it's not. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean, like, the future. Right, the future, when we're dead. Yeah, sometimes all the time it's so overwhelming i know what you mean sometimes i just try to like let it happen you know what like whatever happens is what was meant to happen then i don't need to try like it's all predetermined fate that's right no responsibility i'm not sure we're supposed to know i don't know I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Right, it's, it's totally okay if I've been using that as an excuse for all the terrible things I've done in my life, right? Like, I mean, I intend to do a lot more terrible things because I've been able to excuse it all away with that. That's fine, right? I think it's fine. Okay, there's, there's stairs there. I was kind of a little stuck, wasn't sure where we were going.
I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Wow. Gotta draw. Feel the urge. Shows him the page, and it's just dick butt. Like, insp inspiration comes from many places. Do me! Ooh. Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Right. Sorry. Dumb idea. I'm sorry. I, I just want to finish this. Interrupted the artiste. Time. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> don't, don't, don't pick it up. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Save Abby? Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> Don't breathe. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Oh, I think we know the origin. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry causing serious consequences. All right, hold A to not breathe. I'm an old hand at that. I only release A to breathe when it's safe. Not too early, otherwise we will be the quarry. <laughs> Might not be safe yet. It's probably still not safe. Alright, maybe now it's safe. No, I guess it still wasn't safe. Oh, was it safe? Okay. The meter was almost gone. Jeez. That was close. It didn't say what would happen if the meter goes all the way down. It's just more me dead. That was a wild boar, Abby. It's actually a boar. Mm, I actually think it was a boar. They're usually pretty nocturnal, so you don't see many of them during the day. Oh. Well, actually, boars and hogs are both just terms for wild things. Huh. You learn something new every day. Did you have time to draw the boar? You're pretty good at drawing. I, I would figure that if I ran out of the breath meter that he would have made a noise to attract the boar. I don't know if that's how it works, but I would guess probably. Guess we should head back. We didn't pick up any more sticks. Why did we even do this? If 
finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Mm -hmm. What might be we looking at to get our attention? Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Fuck it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Um, weird light in the treehouse? Did we notice that? I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. Guess we'll be dead. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Pardon? Yes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. You both okay? Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Oh. Oh. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine. We'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets. Will we actually get the choice of whether or not we want to eat them? Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. Will that actually kill people? What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Uh oh, shooting tutorial. No, dude. Absolutely not. No. Probably shouldn't leave him with a gun. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good.
So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range... We're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was all right. It was... It was okay. Hey! Atta boy! So, I mean, what happened? I was attacked by a boar. Flooded a little. She's... Really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What, no, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. LB to view. Hold on, we're gonna interrupt your tutorial so we can watch this tutorial. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Right stick to look around. I cannot, like, look all the way to the side and point it at Jacob, it seems. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. Will I be controlling Jacob as well? Avert your eyes, Nick. Doesn't seem so. More performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Butter pops. Ooh, what's that, Jaggy? Huh? Huh? Peanut butter, butter Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. 
Jacob doesn't like losing. Blam, we thought this was over. What the whoa. Pop pop peanut butter butter pops. Walk right through that door. Oh, the party's happening. The sun is down. The moon is up. The music is playing. The streamer-friendly music. This isn't my... It's, I expected a full-on orgy in the mud. It's not happening right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. It's a party game. How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay. House rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Isn't that regular truth or Dale? Yeah, it's just, it's normal. Yes. What's Dylan's style? Like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I. Uh, we won't interrupt. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Give me what you got. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I thought it was Dylan's style, not Emma's style. To kiss either Caitlyn or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Well, I probably don't have to ask what the viewers would want me to pick. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> Always happy to please. Woo! I think they're married now. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, let's pick uh, Jacob. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, Jacob. Wait. Don't do it. Stop. 
Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. <laughs> what? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. <clears throat> Someone else. Can he help. was so excited to do it. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or. You like it better with my lips. Nick. Uh. Well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M. Seriously? Um. Mm. Mm. Guys. Mm. 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 Guys. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend's asshole? Yeah, I like kiss kissing your girlfriend's asshole. What above it? Nobody's girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Yeah, yeah. Grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. Or something. Maybe. You should probably go find Abby. Probably should. And this party did not go according to plan. What? I thought this was going to be the best party ever. Lance Henriksen is not impressed with the game of Truth or Dare. Oh, I didn't find any cards, did I? Welcome back. She's going to be so disappointed in me. As always, delighted that you're here. So then, what more has been found? I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm empty-handed. I'm sorry. Without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? It's the animal magnetism between you and me. I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Is that the order we, we care about? I mean, the wolves would be the dangerous ones, right? Like, wouldn't it be more like you see the ravens and uh oh, my, wolves might be coming? So we have completed chapter two. And we are controlling Abby. Well, the party of the year was not really the party of the... I don't know. I thought this group of rowdy young adults was going to get it going on. I thought they knew how to party. I don't... I, they did not. They did not know how to party. I don't know. Disappointed. Disappointed in the partying. Or the lack of such. Um, but it is now night... Everyone has gone their separate ways in the forest. Lan he Lance Hen Henriksen and his large, blood-covered man are watching, and I, I think some horror is about to start. I do like the kind of slower burn this has. Like, this is a longer game than the Dark Pictures episodes. They say that this game is around the length of Until Dawn, which was longer. Um, so that does allow them to have a longer beginning where you see more of these characters in a normal setting before the horror begins. And I, I do like that. 
Uh, I do think that this has been a pretty good start as we've gotten to know our characters um, before, you know, Lance Henriksen shows up saying, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Lance Hen Henriksen is going to say. He's got a gu he's got guns. Is he going to try to shoot us? I still feel that Lance Henriksen is going to end up being the one who is hunting whatever the actual killer is, but... I mean, we—that's that, kind of what they did on, until dawn. Not what Lance Henriksen wasn't in until dawn, but there was a character who had that same kind of role. Maybe the—I don't know if they're doing that again. I still wonder if it's a werewolf story, because it is night. There is a full moon, and for some reason, I guess the monster was not a problem with previous nights when everyone was at camp. It's only a problem now for some reason under the full moon. Still possibility a werewolf. I don't know. Um, Ted Raimi has not appeared since we saw him. His his creepy cop character has not appeared. Uh, so what is he up to? Is he around the camp? Don't know. Where did David Arquette go? Well, clearly he should have stayed at the camp because the monster would not dare to attack if the former WCW World Heavyweight Champion was on the scene, but he is not here. Who is on the scene are some young adults who don't know what they're doing. A couple of them are good with a gun, but we'll see how much that might help them. As we continue on, with the quarry, which takes place in a quarry, and it looks like our teens are about to become the quarry.